the new backpack from Tropic Feel. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Nuke Backpack, which is their latest everyday carry on with the daily adventures in mind. It can expand from 14 liters up to 34 liters, and it does have an amazing ecosystem where you can add on accessories and build up the bag for whatever you might need it for because you have the range to have it at its lowest form or up to its biggest form at 34 liters. In this video, I will go through the bag and detailing its features and then highlighting some pros and cons and then finishing the video with my final thoughts. Please do not hesitate to pop a wee question down below. If there's anything that I have missed, then I will try and answer it the best I can. So this bag comes in three colors, the all black, the olive green, and this is the walnut sand. Let's delve into some of the accessories that this bag has. So this is their nook pouch, and it just goes on nicely on the sides here. It is a bit fiddly, um, but once you get the hang of it, it's absolutely fine. And then it just means, you know, for anti-theft purposes, it's not as easily swiftly taken off in comparison to their high backpack here where they have the fid lock system. And I have to say, although this is a bit more fiddly, it's definitely um, better for me personally because I do love the fact that you can swiftly take off the fid lock here and remove your pouch. But whenever you don't have the pouch, I don't have that accessory here, then you're left with these little stumps. Whereas in comparison to this you have a bit more of a neater look to the bag it does tuck in nicely and it is placed on the bag if you want it and then whenever you remove it and um, you don't have those little stubs the pack itself um because it is on the front there's just a wee quick note i wanted to say if you put your togs together and tie them like so um underneath this little handle then you just add a little bit more security so just in case someone is trying to get into that front pocket that the zip then you have enough time to stop them and um, there is a front pocket here um, that isn't as secure as maybe the back pocket here so put less delicate things in there it is covered by a little bit of fabric the flap here um, I have just some tissues in there which I just find handy to just turn around and grab out of the bag instead of going digging and inside so if you take off my highly securely anti-theft feature that I have created. Um, you have this handle where you can hang up the bag or hold it, which is great. And then you just open up the little pouch and it falls flat open so you can see everything, natural light's getting in. This material here is well padded and well structured. So anything that you have in behind here reminds me of like um, a hip belt, which is quite great because it's nice and secure. Um, you can fit anything in there. I had snacks. And on the front here, you have these elastic little bands where you can place your USB ports or anything that you can really fit in there. And directly in front of it is this mesh material, which is absolutely lovely. You have one longer one and then a smaller one so you can fit cords or anything that you can really fit in here. I was thinking about Kazi, who is a type one diabetic where she could easily swing the bag around and get access to like um, prickers or hypo stuff, which just makes it quite easily done instead of carrying another bag for those kind of supplies um that was just a thought that you could probably put that stuff in there but obviously each to their own so that's that i'm just gonna set that there um obviously i have the bag packed up it doesn't sit up by itself by the way it is leaning against the wall so bear with me um on this here you have the micro pouch and the soft line pouch here which I will get into first, hopefully this bag does not fall down. Um, it has these carabiner, um, I hope I'm saying that right, like G-hook clips here that you can uh, place around the bag, which is really, really handy. And inside this is a softer fleece material, so you can place anything like your phone or sunglasses in there. My iPhone 13 fits fine in there, nice and snug with the case on it and sunglasses or anything else that you really just need quick access to then. It is just clipped down. Um, with a little clip and that can be attached or detached and you can even use this on other backpacks as well if they have like the external features and then i'll just set that there and then you have this wee micro pouch which is super handy again with the same kind of 
locking system on the bike and you, oh, you can place like your keys or your airpods in there just makes it quite handy again um for anything that's just you want externally to put on the bike you have the option to do so so that's them and then i just move these to the side then in the front of the bike if you unclip this bad boy here um in the front here where it is placed handily enough is the roll up uh, toiletry bag here and that's just compressed by this little g-hook again which is lovely because it has this elastic stretch to it so no matter what you're packing up then you have a little bit more give to it and you can compress everything down i do have this fairly packed up a few items in here in the laminated kind of pouch which is absolutely beautiful then you have two mesh pockets here which i have perfume and some face pads and then you have a zip pocket at the top and i have a razor and a few little more items in there what is great is that you have the ability then to hang that up and also one of the one amazing features of this little bag is the fact that you can detach this little pouch and then you have a mirror on the wash bag which is absolutely a lovely touch and the fact that you can detach that makes it super super handy and convenient for travel purposes and then like i said this is like quite fully packed so i have one two three four items in there the perfume bottle and the little pads and even with it rolled up it is nicely secured in and then that just slides into the top of the bag in there and that can be placed and it goes about halfway down so it is easy to just pop out when you are on the go i'll just set that over here and then without going too much into the bag but um because i'm going to get into that after is the packing cube which fits in the back of the bag as you can see it is well stacked up um, I kind of wanted to just give you a little bit of a weight while it is fully packed without removing too much and um, so give or take with everything packed it is about 5 kg maybe add on a couple more pounds for the toiletry bag that just gives you a rough idea of how much you can really fit in here and I have it like fully packed to the brim near enough the zip would not close so in the back here um, you <laughs> you can have your packing cube if you want no you absolutely don't have to but there is a space for it which is absolutely great and i have this 10 liter packing cube you can absolutely expand it but i don't think it being expanded would fit well in there uh, just for the pure fact that there really isn't enough room like even with it this fully packed and it is compressed that is it nice and snug and then if you open up my packing cube you can see what i kind of have in here which is quite a lot to be fair um if you pack smart again you can probably get much more into it but that's quite handy to just have in terms of just hooking up and hanging it up um, whenever you're at your destination it makes it quite easy and yep yeah, that is the 10 liter packing cube which fits nicely into the bike they actually have a section for that and if you're not using that then you can use it obviously for something else and make good use of it as well most of their accessories you can definitely use across like all their backpacks um such as their hive their nest um you can have a weekend under on their website they do different colors and the packing cubes one thing i will know and is quite irritating is the fact that the apart from the front little pouch here the rest of the stuff doesn't match the bag unless you get it in all black which is a bit of a downfall in terms of just it being nice looking um, but if that doesn't bother you then it's absolutely grand but obviously like the wash bag the kind of fleece pouch and the micro pouch are all in black so you can just decide whether you want to go for the all black or not the backpack starts at around 100 and 
39 pounds which is roughly around 170 dollars depending on conversion rate and the online sales i say that it starts at 139 pounds and 170 dollars because the bike itself is that price and then you have to add on the accessories um, every time so you can add on one two three and up to five so if you do add on the five that is about 300 pounds and by 370 dollars again depending on the conversion rate but that's just something to think about you don't necessarily need all the accessories to enjoy this backpack um if there was like two that i would recommend it would definitely be the little uh nook pouch and the packing cube because i find them quite handy and um, but you certainly don't need them to enjoy this as an everyday backpack so i have reviewed the hive backpack over on my channel that you can head over and check that out if you think having a comparison between the hive and the new care is um, beneficial then i would be happy to do that as well just let me know in the comments the nook is definitely more of a casual active day-to-day -day backpack okay let's delve into the nook backpack <laughs> Okay, I'm going to run through just some of the stages of this backpack, whether it is proof for carry-on or a personal item that might be beneficial to know. But again, as I always say and always disclaim, please just check with your airlines against their dimensions because I don't know where you are in the world and I don't know your airline. At its lowest form, it is 14 litres and the weight of this, it says online, is 1.4 kg, which is 3.1 pounds. But whenever I kind of uh weighed it myself it was coming roughly towards 1 kg um 1.4 kg is quite heavy for an everyday carry-on i know for some people but definitely as the lightest form in terms of the 14 liter it is pretty lightweight this is a carry-on and personal item approved it is yes for both and definitely with the expansion here it is grand two to be fitting in the seat in front of you on a flight and in the overhead locker at 26 liter it is approved as a carry-on but probably not as a personal item i mean again depending on your airline and what you can get away with uh i would just take those measurements and put it against your own airlines and at the volume of 34 liters it is not really a carry-on uh, approved or a personal item approved i would probably beg to disagree i feel like easyjet i haven't taken this on a flight yet so i don't actually know but easyjet with this fully packed as a carry-on i definitely think it'd be grand the only thing might be your freaking kangaroo pouch but just hide your shoes until you get on the flight the materials of this backpack are made up of recycled 100 main polyester very lightweight but durable dwr treatment apu coating which means that the backpack itself is weatherproof and water repellent but it might not be uh suitable during like a real big downfall fall like over time it might um seep through the seams so you do have the front of the bag which is quite slim in its aesthetics obviously the kangaroo pouch here is given a bit of a bulk um maybe it's best that i just kind of run through this first so this is your kangaroo pouch on the bottom here again similar to the nook pouch here you can detach it um find these little elastic and then these metally hooks here which just is easier actually than these ones and we can take out the shoes and then if you take them out you can roll up this bad boy and fire it in the bottom here and it zips nice nicely across i love the fact on these these are all ykk zippers which is great but the fact that they differentiate the zippers so you know like stuff like the bottom and then the expansion are the little zips and then the other ones are um attached with the little togs which just makes it easier to maneuver especially when you're bulking out this bag and you're trying to close it shut you have the oh this is a bit of a it's welded in that's what you kind of want but also a bit of a nuisance obviously if you don't have your uh toiletry bag in here you have extra space in the front then you have this running daisy chain so you can just plug in anything maybe you want or obviously you have range then to put the 
um, roll top furthest down if you want or up depending on how stacked you want it to go and on the front I just love this color by the way this is definitely one of my favorite combination of colors together and um, it just works really well and the materials I really do like it it does might it might come across a bit rough for some people but it's absolutely uh, very very luxury and nice especially for an everyday it's given like an urban backpack um i really really do enjoy the aesthetics of this backpack then on top here um just on the front you have this pocket it is top loading so you, someone can grab it and get your stuff if you know you're not careful so just be aware of that i have my passport in there which is handy enough to have anything like that in there if you feel secured enough in doing so or you can have anything you want there is a wide range of space and it doesn't like become overly bulky especially if you're having something like slim like this in there then it's nicely put together and uh, just a little added feature that you can appreciate especially if you are on the go in terms of the side of the bag you have one handle here and a handle at the top so you can maneuver the bag like so which just becomes handy when you're trying to grab it from um, the train or the overhead or under the seat it just makes it easier to maneuver and they are quite strong it is the seatbelt material which I'm usually not a fan of but it's grand for this style of bag and then you have two pockets on the side uh, it is that mesh pocket I absolutely love Top of Feels mesh because it is um, nice to touch as well but it is very stretchy and durable it just feels like it's not gonna rip uh, which is what you want and this is a 500 mil and it fits in nicely it also fits in nicely when the bag is fully packed to the brim it's slided in grand and uh, obviously you have two compartments so fit what you want kind of on the side here don't think it necessarily needs to but two is there if you want maybe you want to fit a tripod or smaller items an umbrella or anything that you need to swing the bag around and get your hands into so the roll top here is a compressed roll top so you do have the ability to suck in the bag at the top it is very hard to do so there isn't really a lot of movement but I think over time that will just become a bit more easier uh, in doing so it is very strong but it just gives you that um, range then to top up the bag as far as you want and then have the ability to compress it down with your daisy chain here through this G hook clip um, again just being aware obviously if you have stuff in the front here it might bulk it out a bit more and then whenever you're compressing it down but you can build it up to the top and then compress it all in should you want um which is a nice range in here i just have two uh two uh of the tropic field vest and jacket in there to have for day-to-day -day activity um there is great depth to the bag it has a lot of space in there there is lots of light especially with this color i'd be worried with the black that you wouldn't get enough light whenever you're looking in because with this color the walnut sand whenever i'm looking in i can see everything inside which is nice and something i definitely appreciate inside again is that wipeable washable kind of material you can just wipe down the bag and inside in this main compartment here where you can pack it up nicely there are two extra little mesh pockets at the top which is quite handy that it's not like way down at the bottom so you can kind of prioritize in how you're packing that up because obviously it is top loading you can maybe prioritize anything like such as plugs or uh, wires or anything that you need quick access to at the top so a lovely little touch i, I didn't mention the expansion obviously it is here tucked at the bottom and um, this is the bottom of the bag there isn't really a lot of padding there is here in terms of when the laptop compartment hits the bottom but just be aware that this is where your uh, expansion zip is and like i said they differentiate the zips and this expands up then, then to the i think it's the four liter expansion and on the expansion which i love is the brand in here beyond travel and that just gives it that extra little wiggle room especially when you are packing up the bag so 
a note that that is at the bottom and it is well tucked in so let's move on to the back of the bag definitely for comfort it gets an a for me uh, it has these two mesh on the side which has lovely airflow going through and lovely airflow flow through here too in comparison to their high backpack which i'll just pick up whilst i love this for prompt and posture um, there wasn't really there was airflow and it was absolutely grand in terms of comfort but i just prefer this like softer mesh here in comparison to this and the mesh here runs onto the shoulders there is a bit of flexibility it's still like that rugged but it's not as stiff as this was so the comfort was kind of lacking on these straps um, especially if you were wearing it on bare skin uh, whereas this is very much more comfortable in comparison to this bad boy saying that though on the back here nice airflow comfort brand but if you're having a luggage strap i don't know why people keep putting our brands keep putting it like this i don't really see the point um i get it because you've made this panel and um you can't you could have went this way again you could have done one two three four a bit like that but with this material I don't know, I just don't find it as beneficial when the bag is over a luggage like this. And especially, see when this bag is fully packed out, it will be very hard to get this over uh, a, a, like any sort of luggage. And this is really, really, really hard, which you want because your laptop's gonna be in the back there, but just note, I don't understand. I don't like it. Then it runs into the straps as mentioned, which is great and you have the range of ability to adapt the bag to your own build and height and then uh, it does have dangle stoppers here so you can limit the dangle that you have um, on each side which is grand and then on the straps here you have those external um, elastics so you can attach anything even if you don't attach their stuff their accessories you can probably attach some of your own too and that's handy to have on the straps as well and it doesn't like over complicate the bag i don't feel too much it's just a nice design that goes well with the straps in terms of fit like this again i am probably a big critique of straps but these ones are absolutely grand sorry put the dangle stopper on these are absolutely grand for me um in comparison to other straps that i have tested this is really, really comfortable on the skin even through lighter materials too um it feels comfortable it's not like digging into me um most of the time i have a jacket on as well so um, i'm not really going to notice that but in terms of comfort it is grand but now when the bag is fully fully packed that's when you start to notice um the lack of sternum strap and the lack of hip strap which i'll get into in a wee second i just wanted to give you a wee example of the shoe fit in terms of this uh kangaroo pouch at the bottom obviously you don't have to put shoes in here you can absolutely put laundry towel whatever you can fit really but i'm thinking for you know people who have size five feet you can get these in grand it is a bit of a squeeze but there is enough elastic on the kangaroo pouch for you to play about with um again you don't have to use it and there is elastics on the bottom too that you can fit maybe even like um your barbell pad yoga mat or anything that you can attach so you can keep attaching things to this bag basically but there is a give here on the mesh and the elastic now this is my size i want to say five yeah five and a half uk um size shoe and that is a bit of a that is a bit of a freaking small space basically because to fit the other one in there is a bit bulky. So if you take that out, like, what is he? This is my partner's shoe. He is a US 12, USA 12 size UK 11.5. There is no way. You're gonna struggle to fit your shoe in there by all means. Um, because even if there is a little bit of give it's just going to stretch the material and eventually just cause damage to the bag so that is just something to know in terms of a shoe fit in the kangaroo pouch so now i'm moving into the back of the bag here you have where you would put your 
10 liter or any packing cube for that matter, anything that you can really fit in here. The 10 liter does kind of bulk it out, especially when it's fully packed. Um, it has this G-hook here, which is a plastic kind of G-hook in comparison to maybe like the metal or metal ones that are on the bike. Um, you can place it in there. And then directly in front of it, it does open like so, so it's like pretty flat. Um, sometimes that really annoys me, but I guess you can kind of stop it at each point. It just depends on your own preference, really. And then the laptop compartment here, it holds up my 11 inch with a lot of space. Um, so my 11 inch comes to here and there is still plenty of room and inside there's still plenty of space for it to flap about. Um, and that just fits nicely in there. And then it is held on by this lovely little strap. It is um, a Velcro strap here. There is no like tug to it, like a give to it, like there is on the wash bag there, which probably would have been nice just in terms of securing it a bit more, but neither here nor there. Then you have this little pocket directly in front that you can fit a book in, which is nice. Then two little pen holders and then two of the stretchy mesh pockets here. Obviously, just be aware when you have your packing cube in front here, it does bulk it out. So anything that you're having here is getting squished. It does close. I mean, I packed this full. So it does close eventually, but it is like gonna burst at the seams. Luckily, it's got great zips. So that is a bonus, but um, just be aware of what you're packing here because when you're folding it out and whatever you have in front, it might just compress on the product that is in front. This is the bag like so, so let's just run through some pros. First pro is the fact that it kind of sits up even when it's just empty here. Um, I absolutely love the color. It really is aesthetically pleasing. I have 8,000 kicks shoes that go well with this backpack. Um, obviously you can opt for the black or the olive green too. They are two other options. Maybe the black is a bit more for those more active days that you think that you could probably easily get this uh, bag dirty although there is a curve guide over on their website on how to just wipe down this bag but maybe the black wouldn't be as visible as it would be on this here walnut sand in comparison to their other bags i like the fact that this is much more simpler to adapt and change whereas the hive backpack it was something i had to like google and look at their videos on tropic field to figure out what the bag could do Whereas this is a bit more simple and straightforward. I just want to go through some of the cons of this backpack. Not really cons, but just something maybe to think about whenever you are going to purchase this bag. Is that what I did notice is that, okay, every day carry on absolutely fine in terms of straps, support. Um, especially when it's not overly built out or bulky. Um, even when you have the kangaroo pouch on and stuff inside the main. But when it is fully out to its bigger form, biggest form of 34 liters, you do notice um, that there is no sternum strap or head belt because over time I was starting to feel it, uh, the heaviness of it, especially over a period of time when I was walking about with the bag, I just felt like, oh God, I would love like something to just ease off the pressure a bit here, especially on the hips. And then the sternum strap to just distribute the load because it was going to be swaying about really um, and that's something that I did notice and probably would have appreciated more on this bike to have the option to even remove it or have it whenever you do want to pack it up. I don't know maybe if you have like uh, your own sternum strap that you can maybe attach it here. I don't know how reliable that would be but just in terms of packing it up and having it at its fullest form I noticed that I would have appreciated the sternum strap and a hip belt. I can see why some people might see this bag as a very busy bag, especially at its 34 liter. It is very bulky and like, especially if you're using it to going through big cities or busy cities and you're maneuvering about on a train, it is quite like, oh, especially with all the accessories on the bag, you're, like, you're a bit like you're wearing your whole wardrobe on your bag or on your back. Um, that's just something to note in regards to the bag, especially at its fullest form, but ideally I would use this bag more for an everyday carry, which it's supposed to be, but it is transformable as well if you want it to go to that point, which I get, but it can be quite busy 
in its look and how it feels. Obviously something to know in regards to the shoe pouch as you would have seen with the shoe fit. When the bag is fully packed out it doesn't stay up by itself so it is going to wobble over depending on where you are and how that affects you that may or may not. So who is this backpack for? If you want a light day-to-day -day backpack that you can expand and adjust for longer weekends away or for adventures then this is a great backpack. This does make for a great wee gym bag. Um, I have used it in the gym where you can place your lifting shoes if you have them or anything else at the bottom which makes it easier to you know yourself if you have lifting shoes to just get them out at the bottom and instead of going into the bag with its lowest form of 14 liter it is great for maneuvering a boy it's comfortable it's good for cities and um, even like doing touristy things it is a great reliable backpack i don't feel like it is best suited at is 34 liter it can be of course but if you're going for long periods of time with this backpack at its fullest form it's okay going from a to b with it at its fullest form but if you're going longer with it at its fullest form then you're going to need a hip belt and a, stra a sternum strap for that because it does start to get heavy and uncomfortable sometimes tropic feel can miss out on the execution of a backpack like i do find like if you're going to make this as adaptable um and up to 34 liters, then add it in those small details of a sternum shop and a hip belt would have been beneficial. Um, like they have done in the hive and I believe in the nest as well. Um, just having those little moments and, or even having like the accessories of that to attach onto the bag would have probably been a bit more beneficial. Rather than overpowering the bag with a load of accessories without the support to match, it's well and good having all these accessories that you can attach to the bag, but whenever the bag is at its fullest form and you're having all these accessories because someone might want it as its fullest form and have all the accessories attached, then they're gonna have problems with the comfiness of the bag and getting it from A to B or even longer traveling purposes. Although saying all of this, this is definitely my style of bag and that's just my opinion, especially in its smallest form here and then using the kangaroo pouch as well. Obviously again, you can pack it up, but I just feel out of the nest, the hive and there was another one I reviewed as well, I think, um, but it's not on the channel. I reviewed it over on Dream Big Travel Far. Um, and just with this bag, I prefer the fact that there is more flexibility to it. Yes, obviously the back is um, a lot more tougher, but in terms of just having those um, flexibility moments where you can shove it in the seat in front of you, or you can shove it in smaller pieces or maneuver it about in comparison to the boxier look that they have here going on in the hive, there is less of a flexibility to this bag because it's just like, if you can see in comparison, this is a lot more boxier in comparison to this style of backpack. This is more of a travel, um, holding it for longer periods of time, bulking it out and having the support of the sternum strap and the hip belt. Whereas this is, okay, I can put it to the fullest form, but I only, it's only gonna get me to A to B. I can't be carrying it for long periods of time. If you do happen to have a wee gander on their website and you are thinking about purchasing this lovely backpack, um, then please, please use the links that are in the description. I would greatly appreciate because they are affiliate links and it does offer us a commission that absolutely goes back into this channel so that I can give you more honest, authentic reviews. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next review.